Let us collect few buds and open the flowers of hibiscus and observe it. In a bud, we can see a green color leaf-like structure which cover the whole bud or flower. Each of these green like structure present as an outermost layer is called as sepal. This outermost ring of sepals is known as calyx. Petals are the largest part of flowers. They are often attractive, brightly colored, sometimes sweet scented and attract the insects. This ring of petals together is called corolla. Inner to this corolla in hibiscus we can observe a long tube on which many stamens are arranged. This ring or whorl of a flower is called antrisium. Each stamen consists of two parts, a stalk called filament and a lobe called anther. If you touch these lobes in a mature flower, we can get a powdery substance called pollen grains, a male reproductive part. Inner to this antrisium whorl, we can find a female reproductive parts of the flower called gynecia. You will find this part with a swollen bottom part. This is the ovary. Seeds are produced in this part. On the top of the ovary, there is a slender tube-like structure called style. The topmost sticky tip of the style is stigma. Pollen grains are received by the stigma. This is the fourth world of a flower. So the four worlds of the flower, calyx, corolla, andrisium and gynecium all together forms an entire flower. Types of flowers. Now we shall learn some important terms to understand flowers and their role in reproduction. If all the four worlds, calyx, corolla, andrisium and gynecium are present, then it is called as complete flower. Complete flowers are bisexual flowers. If any of these four worlds is missing, then it is called as an incomplete flower. Incomplete flowers are unisexual flowers. There are two types of unisexual flowers, male flower and female flower. The one with andrisium and without gynecium is called as male flowers and the one with gynecium and without antrisium is known as female flowers. These are unisexual flowers.